Well, guess what? We're nearly at the end of 2020. Brent Wilsey of Wilsey Asset Management joins us now to discuss some year-end tax strategies for 2020. Good morning. First of all, man, we're almost to the end. There are definitely some things you can be doing when we're talking about investments here, right? Uh, that is so true. And I know people have a lot on their mind with the pandemic. Uh, you now have the holiday season coming up, but you don't want to forget that you got about, what, three weeks left before the end of the year, maybe too late to do things. You'll be very happy if you think about this now, come April 15th when we file your tax return. But there's about four or five different things that people can do to help save taxes now when they file their tax return next year. And uh, talk about, you know, Obviously, adding more to your 401k, um, a Roth conversation. I mean, these are things that you can do right now that are important that you do right now in the end of this fiscal year. Uh, that's so correct because you got maybe two pay periods left. Look to see if you can put more money into your 401k because that will help reduce your taxes. Also, really help out your retirement uh, years down the road. Also, too, this year may have been a strange year for you income wise. Your income may be lower. So, it may make sense to do a Roth conversion, which can take tax deferred money in a traditional IRA and move it into a Roth, which makes it tax free down the road when you take it out. So, check with your tax person to see where you stand tax wise because it could help you out immensely down the road when you retire. Can you talk about tax loss harvesting? Explain to me what that is. Yeah, that's very important for investors because what you may have in your portfolio is you may have two or three positions that are way down in price or down 30, 40, maybe 50 percent. You could take those losses now and offset either gauge you have now or carry those forward. Now, I do caution people, make sure you understand what you're doing. Don't just do a tax loss just with a tax loss, because we had a company in our portfolio that within a month moved up to about 40%. That would wipe out any loss you had. So make sure that when you take that tax loss, you are not going to have that equity or that uh, capital asset come back up in the next 30, 40, 50, 60 days, because then there's no point and taking the tax loss if the gain would be higher. So make sure you understand that. And also too, one thing that we missed, I'm a little bit too late for this, but for next year, you can do one strategy to where you can buy, say you have 100 shares, you wanna write those off. You can buy another 100 shares, and after 31 days, sell the losing 100 shares, still keep the position. Keep that in mind for next year. It's too late to do that this year. Oh, interesting. And, and can you also discuss the CARES Act and some of the incentives that came along with that? Yeah, the CARES Act, and this is only for 2020. For charity, this is a great year for charity. If you itemize your deductions, you could donate up to 100% of your adjusted gross income and get that right off. And you may say, well, I don't itemize deductions. Well, then you have a, what is it, a 12,400 standard deduction for single, 24,800 if you're married. Well, then what happens if you're using the standard deduction above the line, you can get a $300 cash deduction on that. But you have to have the receipts, you have to have verification, and they have to be cash. Yeah, I, that's important. I know a lot of people, as we're coming kind of towards the end of the year here, making some of these moves. Um, before you go, I also want to talk to you about HHS. HSA deductions, business deductions. I mean, because we're kind of getting into it a little bit. And like you said, if you're itemizing that these are some of those deductions that you can look towards doing uh, and you have time to kind of figure them out right now. Yeah, and the HSA, you can get up to thirty-five fifty dollars uh, for single, family, $7,100, I, I think it is, uh, $7,100 for the family. Uh, that can be completely written off, but you have to get that money in before uh, you file your tax return. Um, also, too, if you have a small business, don't forget, I, I know people are so concerned on the shutdown, they're concerned on the holidays, but don't forget to take those deductions on your business side. And I also make sure that people look at the withholdings as well, because again, it's been a crazy is a year here and you may have been under withheld, that will cause you penalties when you file your tax return because you didn't have enough withholds. So make sure that you sit down with your tax person and understand that you have enough withheld from your taxes for 2020 so you avoid any penalties when you file your tax return. All right. If there's one thing an investor can take away from this conversation that they can do in the next few weeks, what would it be, Brent? Oh, gosh, you really got caught me there. Um, I, I would say talk to your financial advisor and also talk to your tax accountant to make sure you have all your plans together because come December 31st, it's going to be too late maybe. Okay. 
Brent Wilsey, thank you so much for the advice. Obviously important um, here in the last few weeks of the year to get that all in order. We appreciate the conversation. Thank you. All right.